Let's get your photos from looking like this to this using presets in Adobe Lightroom Classic. Hi, I'm Jamie from Envato Tuts Plus, and in this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to install presets in Lightroom Classic. I've been working with Lightroom professionally for over 10 years now, and using presets has saved me a ton of time in my post-production workflow. Presets are also a great way to maintain a consistent aesthetic across shoots. So let's jump in and let me show you just how easy they are to install in Adobe Lightroom. The presets we're gonna be using today are available on Envato Elements. Get unlimited access to millions of creative digital assets, including photo presets with simple commercial licensing on Envato Elements. Plus, you can cancel at any time, so give it a try for as long as suits you. Check out the link in the description. For this tutorial, I've chosen the Analog Film Preset Pack by 2FX, available on Envato Elements. Once you've downloaded your presets, unzip the folder. Now, open up Adobe Lightroom Classic. We'll find ourselves in the Library module of the program. Click over to the Develop module and locate the Presets. Click the plus button and Import Presets. Locate your downloaded presets, select them, and click Import. Your presets will now appear in the User Presets section. To see their effect, hover over the preset name and watch the adjustments happen. Not every preset is going to be the right choice for every photo, so use your eyes to choose the right preset for your photo edit. I really like the warm faded look of the Analog Film 3 preset on this photo. Click on the preset name to apply the settings to your photo. Let's take a look at a different photo. Here, this shot of a beach. Analog Film 3 looks good on this one too, but I think I want a darker, moodier edit for this one. Analog Film 18 is feeling really nice on this. As you can see, installing presets into Lightroom Classic is really easy and unlocks a whole world of potential in your photo editing workflow. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more Lightroom tutorials.